What's going on, everybody? It's Dustin here, aka the Pro Picker. <laughs> And uh, yeah, just uh, wanna do kind of a what sold video. Um, the first thing I'm gonna touch on though is we are dealing with a few item not received requests. Uh, some of them were getting handled uh, positively. Some of them aren't getting handled so well. And uh, what I wanna do in the near future is actually address a few specific examples of how we handled them and what the final resolution actually is. Um, there's going to be a combination of ways that we deal with these. So I'm not going to be out money. That's not going to be something that I'm planning to allow. Um, so we do know, like, of course, you know, if the item gets to the finish line that eBay may cover it. Um, so that's something that we'll be looking at, but also on top of it, uh, the ones that are past 15 days, you're allowed to make a claim. And quite honestly, like, I think by then you're, they failed their duty. So, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but honestly, um, we have started preemptive measures, probably a little bit late, um, on any buyers that we have. The moment they purchase it, you know, we give them some copy pasta, basically telling them, hey, we really appreciate your business, which we do. But, you know, there are delays with the United States Postal System. Your item will be shipped out by tomorrow morning. Um, and, you know, expect delays. Also expect that you're not going to get scans in transit. Um, so we have gotten some positive responses to those. So hopefully this helps to uh, level set expectations with the customers um, that we're dealing with before we have to deal with the problem. And other than that, uh, we'll kind of let everybody know in the future how um, the ones that haven't been ruled upon as favorably are, uh, are working out. Um, if we're able to get the seller protection from eBay or if we're able to file a claim with USPS or um, how we're going to handle each individual case. And I kind of want to do eventual breakdown of how some of those went. Uh, so that's coming up in the near future. Um, as far as now, uh, we're going to go into the sales uh, numbers a little bit. Um, the strategy still is sell as much as we possibly can. Um, the thing is, that's one of the benefits of scaling a business is the more you scale it, the more you can make up for things by volume. Um, again, I'm not trying to say this is the biggest eBay store on earth. Again, I got into it like four months ago, back into it. Uh, so from scratch, this is where we're at uh, after about four months, four and a half months. Um, I want to mention Wednesday and Thursday, which aren't being covered in a video. Um, I just, it's time. Um, 8.47 and 8.76, very, very respectful for weekdays. Speaking of weekdays, look at that uh, December 7th there. Um, over, over a thousand bucks in gross. So doing pretty decent. Um, and the days we're going to focus on are going to be um, Saturday, Sunday, so about 600, 740 there. And uh, this portion of Monday that we're currently in. Again, uh, on weekdays, I have a tendency to do most of my sales in that 5 p.m. to midnight Eastern Standard Time uh, time frame. Uh, just because the, the obvious people are off work, so there's more traffic on the uh, website. Um, with that, um, I'm going to jump in to some what sold. Uh, last time I went on a super long tangent, keeping it short this time. Uh, sold these Hoka, I guess they're One One. See, I'm learning things. Yeah, yeah. Um, just recently, actually, the guy uh, sent me an offer for $51 shift, so I did accept that. Um, I have about $7 into these shoes, so um, overall, pretty solid flip. Uh, it did take a little longer than I would have thought, but I think we're under 60 days on it, so not too bad. Um, actually, I think it took a while for us to get those listed. 
we had them in a death pile for just a little bit. I uh, sold this chess clock uh, for $54.99. This is from the Amazon bin sale on Saturday. So that's a really quick flip on that. I think even in that video I said, I don't know how long it will take to sell a chess clock timer made in China, but apparently not very long at all. So uh, very happy with that. Um, sold these ear warmers here. Um, got these from a Target pallet uh, seller who uh, was doing a yard sale or whatever. Uh, they're a reseller like me and bought these in the summer for like a dollar a piece. So i uh, been knocking them out. I have two different listings. I could have did a variant listing, uh, but I think we were on our phones or whatever uh, when her and I were listing. So uh, I have another listing of a, of a different variety, just a different color. Um, then I uh, sold this HP power supply for a desk jet printer. Um, either I bought this for the purpose of resale or uh, we bought uh, a printer that didn't work. I can't remember. But $13.95. Um, sold these uh, Teva, Teva, Tira slide. Uh, they're uh, waterproof uh, sandals. I'm kind of surprised at this, but $52.95 on these guys. And I want to say I had like four or five bucks or something at the thrift in them. So I'm very happy with that purchase. Um, this eye massager, um, I do not know if I ever want my eyes massaged by a machine, personally. Um, I'm not sure on that. Uh, if anybody's a Star Trek nerd and has ever seen Star Trek in Insurrection, where they have like the face stretching, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I just don't want my eyes massaged by a machine, personally. But if somebody wants to buy it from me, uh, by all means. Uh, $38.99. We got this at the Amazon bin sale. I'm not 100% sure which day. Um, I think we've had it for a little bit, a little while now and probably got it in $5 a day. I actually had to cancel this sale, which is a rarity for me, but unfortunately, I'm pretty good at spotting this stuff. But on the DVD, it was real, one of those really small titles around the ring there. Um, they had uh, the Ron D Dragon Ball Z movie in it the case when I had purchased it so yeah unfortunately we had to uh, take that off the site I'm just gonna throw it in my yard sale pile at this point but it's always a shame when you have to d turn down a sale Lenovo uh, Lenovo it's, it's a small home dehumidifier we picked this up at the bin sale. I'm not sure which day we did this. I think it was $5 day and we got $37.99 for it. Um, we got this at dollar day or fill a bag day. I can't remember which. Sold this for $18.99, this uh, knee pillow. Um, sold this uh, child's uh, five night with uh, Freddy's. Uh, I got this from a Target palette, $9.49, uh, free ship. Not a fortune in that one. Uh, this Corel, um, Christmas drinking glass tumblers, green ivory ribbon. Sold this for $28.49. And probably um, a thrift store pickup, if I remember correctly. Um, got this Sherpa Joy Lab deal. Um, we got a two of them, so sold the first one of them just now for $25. Uh, picked this up from a Target palette. Uh, this Rumica Cube. Uh, 1519 this comes from uh, a set we weren't hundred percent sure if the pieces were all there or not so I just parted out uh, this portion for fifteen dollars and 19 cents free ship won't get rich off of it but I picked it up for a dollar at the uh, lost my marbles video a yard sale um, Sierra Modern Home Ultra Wi-Fi Ultrasonic deal here. Uh, picked this up at the bin sale. Sold this for $33.24. Have $5 into it, I believe. Uh, sold another pack of these Pocket Monster uh, Japanese Pokemon cards uh, for, I, I know it was like 5% off, so like 32 or whatever that comes out to and some change. Um, so sold one, sold another one of those. Uh, I sold this lot of two 1990s uh, Disney uh, Lion King stockings. One has Simba, one has uh, Mufasa and uh, Simba on it. 
And uh, I grabbed these for, I believe, 99 cents a piece at Goodwill. Uh, received $27.54 free ship on those. Um, Power Rangers Samurai, um, I got this for $2.99 at Goodwill. Um, sold it on sale for $10.44 uh, free ship. Not a massive return on that, guys. Make like three bucks back on my three bucks. Uh, I mean, it's a good ROI, I guess. It's just not a lot of money, but it's quick, easy to ship, and I was there anyways. Uh, Crash Bandicoot Wrath of Cortex here. Uh, sold this for fourteen seventy-two. It went five percent off. Um, oh, finally sold this awesome vintage carousel. Um, it's a Mallard Duck Gumball coin machine. Uh, gumball dispensing coin machine and uh, i sold this guy for 62.99 he paid way more than 14.69 ship and it was like calculated or whatever he was uh, this guy was over a hundred dollars into this thing um i spent six i want to say 5.99 or 6.99 on the uh item so just kind of take a look at it i thought it was really cool i've had it for about three months it's one of those things uh that's gonna have and that's how we're, that's the mechanism you turn the little bow tie thing there and uh yeah so he didn't actually pay 14.69 he paid quackulated shipping and <laughs> uh, yeah so he paid qua uh, quackulated shipping and uh that was, I can't even anymore. All right, I'm gonna, moving on to the next one. <laughs> uh, Monsters High Dolls here. Um, so I picked this up on that sale that you guys saw me go to the other week um, for my birthday road trip when I ran into John and bought all this stuff from him. Uh, $52.99 on that. I have $12.50 in each of those. Um, I sold this up. Uh, waste paper shredder deal for $37.99 that's a $5 bin sale item I sold this Mel uh, sold this Melody Susie she nailed drill kit $23.74 $5 day not the best turnaround on that but that's fine still make money and sell through sometimes is just as important as margins um, true true religion for women I sold um, a one pack of this and a three pack of this recently so i don't know which one that is but those i have a dollar fifty a piece into i sold this my pal scout 27.90 this was a thrift store pickup i can't remember i probably have four to five bucks into it i uh, sold this sony uh boom box here for $85.49 shipped. It was like, you think it's dirty in the picture? Like, uh, I, I, I almost didn't list it. But yeah, um, this was actually with a lot of cleaning. Some of it's fading, some of it's dirt. Um, and uh, just kind of built like built in there a little bit, whatever. But $85.49 for it. Overall, I'll take it. The shipping uh, was a little pricey on that. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head how much. Uh, sold the Christmas shoes and the Christmas blessing here combo. So you're getting two movies, Rob Lowe uh, and both of them. I actually went to a show. Uh, Rob Lowe was touring in like 2018 or something. And like my wife and I badly needed to go like do something. And that's an Ohio uh, thing where you're just like, what do I do? And you've already been to Walmart. So we went to the uh, Rob Lowe uh, show, and it was actually pretty good. He had the kind of—it was like a kind of like a stand-up, also discussion of his life, uh, some uh, different anecdotes. Um, it was pretty enjoyable. Um, I've not seen either of these movies though. Uh, this double feature uh, sold this for nine seventy-one. Uh, so, oh, actually, Rob Lowe's from uh, Dayton. So yeah, uh, the sewing patterns for dummies here. Um, I don't really like to buy these. Uh, I don't remember. I, I bought a big pack of them for like really cheap at the Valley Thrift Store though, because this one seemed cool. And sold this for nine forty nine. Still have the other ones. Um, sold this Revel Apache helicopter, which I think I picked up for two ninety nine or a dollar ninety nine at Goodwill. I think it was two ninety nine. And sold that for eighteen ninety five free ship. Sold this Flex Fitness uh, lever belt buck, uh, power lifting belt, 
weightlifting belt. Um, seemed pretty cool. Uh, I, it's kind of a style I would use. Um, however, we have belts, so we're okay on it. Uh, so I ended up selling it. But got this for $5 at the bin sale. Uh, sold it for $37.99 free ship. Uh, sold this uh, bobsled snowman ornament and picked him up for, I believe, $0.99. Cents. Um, and sold him for twenty three seventy four, which was a surprising turnaround for me. Um, I thought it would go for a little bit less than that. Uh, Goodfellow and Co. Men's Corduroy uh, Pants here. Got this from a Target Palette. Been selling through these pretty heavily uh, for the last few months now. Seventeen oh nine shipped. Um, the went okay. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that generic brand name, but it's an indoor light switch for bathroom fans. Fourteen twenty three ship, probably dollar day or fill a bag day. Uh, sold this night um, RC car. Uh, this was from five dollar day, twenty eight forty nine on that. Sold this Wiimote uh, for the Wii or Wii U Wii Motion Plus built in for twenty eight forty nine uh, with wrist strap. That was from the $80 Wii lot. A couple videos back where I go and buy up a bunch of uh, video games. Uh, check that video out if you haven't seen it. Uh, Peerless, this is from the Lowe's um, Mystery Box and sold this guy for $37.99 uh, shipped. It was about $10 to ship out. And uh, I've received this from the Wii Bargain Lowe's Mystery Box. I, I think I just said that. I'm talking in a loop. There's just so much to get through that it's easy. That I just talk a mile a minute, and uh, there we go. Vaunt, um, I don't know if I picked this up on dollar day or five dollar day, but I can't remember. But it only sold for 22 bucks, uh, free ship, but it is a super light ship at least. Sold this Billy Hatcher disc only um, for $44.99. I bought this GameCube lot, and I, we have no video of it, unfortunately, but. The guy kind of made it look like one of the controllers uh, wasn't generic. And unfortunately, all three controllers were generic. One of them was a generic wireless that didn't have the uh, dongle, which he did say it didn't have the dongle. Um, but it had, a f it had like three really good games, but then one of the games didn't spin. Uh, the GameCube worked. Uh, but by the end of the day, I'll make some profit on it, but it was barely worth our time. Um, not as much as I was thinking we were going to make. But that just comes with the business sometimes. And uh, he does post a lot of stuff up there. So hopefully next time I win on a deal <laughs> with him. Uh, the Cleveland Browns tumbler here was $13.94 plus $9.99 shipping. Um, I've had these for quite a while. I actually sold through the last two of them. Uh, over the weekend, uh, sold these uh, black hole uh, rollerblade wheels for eleven eighty nine. We actually have these really small four by four by four boxes, and the whole stack I uh, fit in the box there, so that worked out at least. And it was kind of a light ship. I know it went first class. Um, I got this super cheap at the thrift store too. Uh, same with this shirt. Uh, picked this up for like a dollar fifty on half off day at American Thrift, and it is a My Hero, My Hero Academia uh, t-shirt, which is an anime, $13.29 shipped, definitely makes some profit, it's going to go out first, it did go out first class, uh, Mighty Mule, uh, GTO, uh, so this is like an automatic gate circuit board deal, and uh, I sold this for $31.35, and we just picked this up at the most recent dollar day at the bin sale, so super stoked on that. Um, glass tumbler here sold again the Cleveland Browns they're actually doing pretty good this year I think they're like nine and three or something which is pretty cool uh, for them uh, so that's you know good job <laughs> I know they've had a uh, tough run of luck lately so uh, it's good for the fans up there have something to be proud of uh, the craftsman uh, drill here this is that hammer drill that I received from the uh, Lowe's uh, not pallet, but mystery box, and received forty-seven forty-nine for it, free ship. And I want to say it cost about twelve bucks to ship. We ended up combining two um, six by four by six or something. I can't remember which box it is, but we combined two boxes and uh, the tall ones that are, you know what I mean. And 
<laughs> it ended up uh, being able to uh, ship it like that, thankfully. Uh, I think it was those. I can't remember. Maybe it was the four. Oh, what? I'm just going to be rambling numbers. It's uh, real good stuff there. So with this toolkit RC uh, deal here, it's like a computer for tools and, you know, engineering stuff, I guess. Whatever. Uh, it's fifty six ninety nine. Well, this guy reaches out, and I don't believe he's the buyer that did. And he and what, he had all these technical questions, and I was just like, I'm not really qualified to answer all these for you. I have no clue. Um, and then at the end of his line of questioning, it said, if it's such a great item, where are you selling it? And I think I replied something along the lines of, um, I'm selling I, I'm selling this great item because that's what I do. I sell great items. <laughs> I mean, how do you how else do you answer that? I don't know. Um, and not get that negative feedback. Uh, sold this Holy Stone, which is a very interesting drone brand name. Uh, drone here for only twenty three seventy four free ship. Uh, a mildly disappointing, but it's still profitable. We'll still make a few bucks of return, and it sold super quick in just a little bit over a week. Um, so this Hasbro uh, Moana, it's a big figure too. It's almost like a foot tall. Um, without the hook, $28.49, the shipping was really expensive. I can't remember how much, but I did the math mentally in my head and we only made a couple dollars return on it, but we got rid of it, so that's fine. Um, that was something I had had for a little over three months now. Uh, solar Nocturnal Wild Animal Repeller, $22.49 free ship. Sold this other, oh, uh, yeah, True Religion uh, for women here. One of them bought multiple. I don't know why it doesn't reflect that on here. But we're starting to sell through these colognes a little bit quicker, which is nice. Um, definitely um, happy with the purchase and it moved al it's again moving along exactly kind of how I thought they would which is just a couple here and there each week or so but it's starting to get a little faster as we get up to Christmas um, I mean for a dollar fifty a piece in them for something that's a consistent seller I'm happy uh, sold this guy for took an offer of thirty dollars on it actually he missed the offer he asked me to send offer, and I was like, fine. And I sent it. He missed it, so I ended up having to resend it. But he accepted and then paid. Um, I got this on bag day. I fill a bag day at the bin sale, so I probably have somewhere between 40 and 60 cents into this item, uh, which is one of... I mean, those kind of pickups aren't, like, it's not everything you fill the bag with is worth that much, but it was quite nice to uh, get that kind of return, especially on something that uh, ships first class. Um, we are also starting to add insurance to things that are around that $25, $30 or more range that are shipping first class, um, just so we have that lined up. By default, when you ship priority mail, you get 50 bucks of insurance, or you can pay, like, the $1.70 to get up to the 100 uh, dollars of insurance. Um, it's like a dollar seventy on first class to get um, up to a hundred dollars. Typically, what its declared value is. Um, so that's kind of a, the game plan that we're going with right now. Because um, if something's out for more than fifteen days, um, and we have an INR put up against us, an item not received on eBay, we're gonna turn around and go to the post office and be like. Where's my money? Because, <laughs> uh, again, um, we're going to put in the effort to secure all of our revenue. Um, if you really think about it. So I, I was thinking about this the other day. Um, what's $50 in the grand scheme of business? So, like, if you say, like, oh, well, we did three claims and got 50 bucks back. And, but if it only takes a few minutes to do each claim and to process through them, legitimate claims, of course. Uh, not recommending any insurance here. <laughs> that would be absurd. But uh, like, if you have, we have a lot of items out there right now, and USPS is dropping the ball. But they're also under a lot of intense pressure right now from a lot of different factors. So when we put out our claims and they're accepted, if we have three of them accepted, it's only 150 bucks. But if we end up having 20 
or 30 claims, that's a thousand or fifteen hundred dollars in revenue that we're going to realize in Q1 when we get these claim checks in. And the thing is, that's a lot of money to leave on the table just because eBay decided that. Okay, but essentially how it's working right now is buyer hits you with an INR. If you respond by uploading tracking, they'll put it on hold, but it doesn't matter if they contact customer service a second time and it's after so many days, they're going to uh, tell you that you they contact a customer service, they'll send that email to you. Then within a few minutes, literally a few minutes, automated, almost definitely, you're gonna get another email in your inbox and it's gonna tell you that they rolled against you and that they are withdrawing that money from your PayPal account. Um, now, I think these buyers should have to be patient and they definitely shouldn't be getting to keep free merchandise, but it's not all about like what's fair in life. Um, what's the realistic thing that somebody's actually gonna pay for something that they felt wronged about? I mean, that's what people are, a lot of people are going to try and utilize this as an opportunity to get free merchandise that they don't have to pay for and rip off small businesses. And that's just literally how they see it. But they feel justified because, oh my God, they had to wait just a moment. Well, if the USPS is the one dropping the ball, I'm not picking up the tab. And on top of that, if eBay is the one giving away my money, I'm not picking up the tab. So one of them are going to pay. And I know that eBay has that seller's protection, and if the tracking number comes in delivered, that they will cover you. But the thing is, you're not going to get covered if you don't ask. You only get what you ask for in life, because why would they create addition, uh, additional revenue leaving the company? Why would they create an additional cost center by being proactive? You have to be proactive and, you know, at least make the claims and argue for the money that's yours. That's what we're going to be doing as a process, uh, and we're going to try and get really good at it. And hopefully we'll be able to share some trip uh, tips, tricks, and experiences with it uh, later. Um, I've rambled quite a bit, guys. Um, <laughs> it's really turned into a ramble. I do want to say I appreciate everybody coming out and watching um, my videos and checking everything out. Um, if you haven't already, please like the video. It really helps get my video out there and get me some more exposure in the algorithm. Uh, also consider uh, subscribing. Um, I am dedicated to picking and sourcing and resale content. So if you like this kind of stuff, uh, by all means, uh, please uh, sub and hit the bell notification below so that we uh, grow this channel i guess and that you can be up to date with all my new content oh so consider dropping a comment i'm curious are you an ebay seller um am i totally off the mark on this should i just be eating all this um money or should i be fighting for what i think is mine am i justified um what's your strategies when it comes to items not received obviously no one can go and fly out to the hub that the package is sitting at and force USPS, you know, gunpoint to do anything about it. That, 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 first off, it'd be highly illegal, but it wouldn't be very profitable either. So, <laughs> yeah, there is that. Uh, do I have another item to look at? Oh, sold this keratin uh, hair mask uh, conditioner, by the way. Got that for a dollar. With that being said, thanks again, uh, guys, for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.